Hello. Today we are going to look at file and image columns of database. Now database has a lot of different type of columns, but today our concentration is on file and image columns. So we look at what they are, file and image column, we look at the features of the file and image columns. We do some demo on various ways of attaching files and images as well as looking at some of the limitations of these two columns. Okay, so quickly, file and image columns, uh, we use the thumbnails and then the metadata is stored in the database. So one thing so far, when we look at SharePoint, the images are stored in SharePoint library, but with database, image column and file column, the thumbnails and the metadata of the attached files and the images are stored inside the database, but the actual or the full storage of the image is, in, is stored in Azure Blob Storage. However, the image and the metadata that is stored in the database ensures that whenever we want the available data, it uses the metadata to ensure that it is shown to the user. So we should keep in mind, uh, from 2021 July, um, the attaching file has been made available in Power Pages. Also, attachment of zip file is, is also possible in the um, uh, file and images column. And then there are also multiple ways of uh, attaching images. But where there are multiple columns for the attachment of images, only one of the column is set as the primary image column. And so we should keep this one in mind. Okay, so there are various ways of attaching files and we look at some of them. One of them is attaching during saving or editing data. So if you create a new data or you have an existing data and we're editing it, you can go ahead and then attach a file. You can also enable attachment of files in the table. That is during the creation of the table, there is a column to check, we'll check on that. You can also come out with a, a SharePoint library and link it. And then we can also use Power Automate tool as well as using a custom page. We will look at the first two and I will make a reference to various videos that has been done by some of the MVPs as well as the CAT team on how to attach, I mean, especially on the database. But we look at how it also reflects in the Canvas app. So some of the limitations are uh, record in the modern Devon app. The record must be saved. If you create a new record, it must be saved before you can attach the file. And I see this as a limitation. So you can start by attaching file before you save. The record must be typed and saved. Then you attach the file, we look at it. Then there is also a limitation on the file size, 10 megabytes for image, and then the file is uh, 32. Then there are also some difficulties in attaching multiple files in using the file and images column. Uh, but when you use an attachment column in the Canvas app, you're able to uh, attach multiple columns. So we'll go ahead and look at the demo. Uh, okay, so I have a, a three tables here in my solution. You go to the account table and uh, look at the various um, columns that we have. I have two columns here, one column for file attachment, another column for image attachment. Now, how do you create these columns? Let's quickly create a new one. So image, image, 
far too. So that's a new um, column that I'm creating in the column type or the data type. We have this type that we can choose from. We can either choose the far column or the image column. And that is how it is created for. Now I'm creating image, you pick image. If you're creating a file, you pick file. So you pick it. Then when you have multiple image files or columns, as I stated earlier, only one of them could be used as the primary image. So if you want to use this one as a primary image, you go ahead and tick. So you save it. And that is how you create either a file column or an image column. So after saving, we will go ahead and look at how uh, the attachment could be done or reflected in the model driven app as well as the Canvas app since my internet is quite slow today. So in the, this is an example, I have connected the same sales table to a Canvas app. And uh, when we look at this, I have three. I have the image column, I have the file column, then I have also enabled attachment. Now let me go back to the table quickly and then uh, just look at how you can enable an attachment for a table. So in creating a table, Go back to the table, edit. Okay, so if you want to enable table properties, there is this option here to choose enable attachment. So if you're able, if you enable this property, enable attachment, then this attachment field becomes available for you to attach. Uh, in the Canvas app, you're able to attach multiple files from the database. So for instance, let me pick this. I've enabled it for the sales table. I go to my file. Let me pick this. Then I have two images here then i have let me pick pdf so three items i type them once and they are all filled here so for the file attachment i can only do one so you go in and pick a particular file then the image attachment you can also go in and pick an image so easily that is how it is done you go ahead and fill the other columns. Now, when you go to the canvas, the model driven app, I have similar thing here. So let me add new on the sales form. It's available here. So when we, there's a session here that I have labeled as file column, then image column. Now, both of them cannot be chosen because I have not filled the form. So you need to fill a form first. Name of a customer. Let me pick one of them. Transaction ABC. ABC. Amount 34. Discount I do 5%. Uh, then let me go ahead and then save. So when I save, you see that immediately the file attachment becomes available for me to choose. So until I save, it wasn't available. So you go ahead and then pick um, the file. You do the same for the image. Do the same for the image attachment. Then you go ahead and then uh, save. So this is a limitation that I pointed out in the 
canvas app you're able to pick it before you save in the model driven app you have to save before you pick so let's note that one and then um for the canvas app so these are some of the things so as i said earlier there are also a couple of ways to attach one of them is using sharepoint and then a custom page so for the custom page uh the power cut team has come out with um, a custom page which is linked to a sharepoint library that you can also use it in your model driven app and uh, it's quite explained by audrey uh, in this video so i'll put the description below for you to look at how you can go ahead and then uh, make use of uh, attaching files in your in your modern driven app as well as your canvas app using the database so i hope this was quite useful and then let's meet again in another video thank you very much